Lesson 10, AC Circuit Analysis Section 10.2, Node Voltage Method Let's apply the node voltage method to this circuit. Select one of the nodes as the reference node. Node B is better in this circuit, because this node is connected to both power sources, and can be the ground potential. Assign V3 to the voltage between A and B. Express V3 as a function of Z1, 2, 3, V1, and V2, by applying Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, to node A. The currents I1, 2, and 3, are defined as shown in this figure. I1 and I2 are entering node A, and I3 is leaving node A. I1, 2, and 3, are given by these equations with the node voltage V1, 2, and 3. KCL states that I1 plus I2 equals I3. By substituting the top three equations into this equation, the relationship between Z1, Z2, Z3, V1, V2, and V3, is obtained. It is rearranged to express V3 as a function of Z1, 2, 3, V1, and V2. Experiment 10.2 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. Measure V1, V2, and V3. Compare the measured V3 with the calculated value. The answers to experiment 10.2 V1, V2, Z1, Z2, and Z3 are given by these equations. Then, V3 is obtained as shown in this equation. The effective value V3E and the phase angle psi 3 are given by these equations. The measured values of V3E and psi 3 were, V3E was 1.92 volts, and psi 3 was negative 27.0 degrees. These were the nominal values of resistances R1 and R2, and the reactants 1 over omega C. The calculated values were, V3E was 1.94 volts, and Psi 3 was negative 26.6 degrees. The measured values of V3E and Psi 3 matched the calculated values well. Exercise 10.2 This is your homework. Derive V4 as a function of Z1, 2, 3, V1, 2, and 3, by applying the node voltage method. The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.